Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Ah, gonna get myself over here. Yes, Gus. Ah, walking sticks. This is my go-to normal everyday one. Oh, jokes. Yes, good boy. Cheers. Cup of tea, lunchtime. And I thought, because this uh, cherry plum has to get ripped out, that's this one, Prunus sericifolifera, or whatever. The Irish blackthorn, or the shillelagh, is uh, Prunus spinosa. But the one I'm using, Tasmanian dogwood, Plomadaris apitalata. Anyway, these things. I usually go for about a meter. Let's see. A little bit over a meter. So I'm going to cut it off there. Take that top out. Whoa, come on. Tough stuff. This is why. It makes such good walking sticks. And this other young one, give that one another year or so. Although this tree is going to get taken out, so I'll probably cut it out soon, like in a couple weeks' time. These are big, thick ones. Not sure about those. This uh, sapling, I'll dig out next. But uh, what I'm going to do. A little bit of surgery. Now, not sure which side of it I'm going to use. I don't know why it's not blocking, but it'll work. Not going to cut through the whole branch. because I'm going to take my chisel and take out a chainsaw would be handy but I'm not going to use that about that wide yeah This is how this one was split out. I did uh, my cuts pretty much the same way. Sometimes they come out easily. Sometimes they don't. <sighs> so, uh, It'll be a bit bent, but uh, steaming it, I'll straighten that out. What? Whatever. <laughs> somebody, somebody on the road. there somebody out on the road cars pull up on the other side of the road quite often and they walk down to the beach they take photographs of the trains going by they take 
photographs of the sunset and whatever. bit deeper. I could have grabbed my axe, but uh, I don't always get the control I want. Why am I using the side of a hammer? Because uh, I don't have to focus quite so much on the uh, individual blows and run the risk of uh, I'm taking out a knuckle, <laughs> which is not fun. I think that's deep enough. Sometimes you can just pull it sideways and split it out, which I think I did with that one. But uh, you also run the risk of, uh, of losing it. <laughs> Change the hammer angle so I don't scar up the, uh, the plum. Any old overgrown orchard, which this is, will have a good source of uh, material. Cherry is another good one. Plum. Apple, sometimes. But uh, these cherry plums grow uh, all over Tasmania. They were introduced who knows how long ago. And uh, hiking and bicycling around the, uh, the farming back roads, you're gonna find these on the uh, fence lines quite often. Near old uh, old settlements, you'll uh, you'll find wild apple and uh, cherry plums. I might uh, do a fast forward on this one. It's gonna...
Well, when I finish this, I'm going to get scrubbed up and uh, go in for some live music at the Penguin Beer Company, Sunday afternoon session, 3 p.m. So, I'll have something, something to eat. And, uh, a nice pint of their Emperor Penguin. It's a uh, it's an IPA. Quite nice. Just sold about seven percent. Quite nice. <laughs> nice. I've had this chisel for uh, 1980s. And I found it, the end had broken. It's already starting to go again. And I put a piece of coach bolt in there to, uh, and it, it gets hammered on a lot. When I get this thing out, I'll air dry it for a little while, a day or so. Then I'm going to coat the uh, the cut section up here and all along here with uh, some uh, grease. Normally in the bush, I wouldn't be going to this much trouble because I wouldn't have my hammer and chisel. All I would have is my saw and my machete. So, uh, I don't know. Time to try and take it out, I think. Is it deep enough? Got to be able to have a, a bit of a grip. Because uh, you've got to be able to use Use your hand on the cane because you're probably using the cane because you need it. Like me. I've got the brace on my knee right now. I don't go outside in the garden without it anymore. Just not worth the risk. Been uh, five weeks since I since I did it, and uh, then the beehive that must have been well three weeks ago. I don't know. That really did it. <laughs> A quick way to do this would be to uh, take your chainsaw, cut there, cut there, lay it on its side, put the axe through it.
but chainsaws are very noisy and uh, I want to show you exactly what I'm after okay that's where I'm gonna go in Oh, ain't gonna budge yet. Nowhere near ready to, to pop out. There's one of my chookies. Feral cat went and took one of my, uh, Young pullets about that size. A couple nights ago, I found I found her in the uh, underneath the uh, loganberries, half eaten. So now the carcass is in a cat trap because just on the other side of the road is the uh, coastal strip, and uh, feral cats roam up. And down that all the time. I'm always losing chooks. Which uh, doesn't uh, please me a great deal. But if I uh, didn't lose some, I'd end up with more chooks than I know what to do with. Digging saplings out of the ground like this one would probably be a lot quicker than uh, than getting these. But when you have that opportunity to give it a good uh, a good handle like that, uh, stay there. Then uh, I like that idea. People ask me, do I sell them? Well, at this stage, no. I make them for people that need them. But uh, I think I will advertise as uh, expressions of interest. But you can see the amount of work that goes into them even when they're just uh, naturally left with their bark on and everything else. You're not going to make a lot of money. Not for the time and effort you put into them.
Oh. I don't know whose kid has a motorcycle, a dirt bike. Yesterday afternoon, a couple hours. This afternoon, painful. I know I've got motorcycles, but I don't do that. I go off for rides. I go off in the country. <laughs> there was a first knuckle. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Whoa. I saw movement. Aha. Finally. We'll see. Ah, uh, stubborn Norwegian. Yes. Teswegian. That's it. See you next time. Wayne's Weird World. Oh, money, money, money. Cheers. See you next time.